5.1 Multiplication of Matrices This is part of my Ultimate Revision Guide to Further Maths GCSE, which is a level 2 qualification. Um, this is the matrices section, this is the first video of that. Um, this button here, the index, as always, takes you back to the index for this section, so the matrices index, and any exam questions that I've done videos for I will add in as links down the bottom here in the practice questions section. Okay, we're going to look at these um, basic skills of how to multiply matrices and another thing we've got to point out that matrix multiplication is not commutative. That means that if we're multiplying two matrices, so say we're multiplying matrix A by matrix B, that's not always E equals all matrix B times matrix A. Sometimes it is, but it's not always. Okay, when we do multiplication matrices, um, let's just have a look at an example. So if I have, um, let's just make one up, one, two, one, three, and I'm multiplying the matrix one, one by that. Okay, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm thinking about multiplying matrices, what I do is I take these, you take these two here, and you turn them around and put them here and multiply those two values there. So you go two times one and one times one. So the two comes down, and multiplies by the 1, the 1 multiplies by the 1, and then you add those two results together to get the first element of your new matrix. And when you combine matrices, um, you need to look at the, the size of the other two matrices, and then um, that will tell you how big this matrix is going to be. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix, and this is a 2 by 1 matrix, and the resultant matrix will be a 2 by 1 matrix. So it's going to be uh, 2 up, 1 across. So 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1. Add those together, and we get 3. And then these two multiply instead of those two, so we remove the, the 2 and the 1. And now we times by the 1 and the 3. So we have 1 comes up and multiplies by the top number, and 3 multiplies by the bottom number, and then we add the result together. So we've got 1 times 1 is 1, plus 3 times 1, which is 3. So we've got 1 plus 3, which is 4. So the result of multiplying these two matrices is the matrix 3, 4. Okay, so that's that's basically how it works. If you were doing it by um, 2 by 2 by a 2 by 2, then you would you'd have the same two elements we had to start with. So this 2 and 1 to give the 3 there, and this 1 and 3 to give you the 4, and then you would do the next one, 2, 1 onto the 2 and 2, so 2 times 2, 1 times 2 to give you 6, and 1 times 2 and 3 times 2 to give you 2 plus 6, which is 8. Okay, so um, a bit of practice, that, that becomes fairly routine. The other thing also is multiplying by scalars. So if I have uh, the matrix 2, 1, 1, 3, like we did before, and we call that matrix A, if I want to work out 3A, that's just three lots of all that. So it's going to be 6, 3, 3, 9. So I just multiply each term in the matrix by the number on the outside. OK, let's have a look at um, some questions. Okay, so here are the questions. I want to go through them on a separate page, but they're, all the questions are there. If you want to have a little practice before I go through them, just pause the video and work these out on a bit of paper and see if you know what to do. Okay, let's have a go at the first two questions. So, just for some basic multiplication, uh, three lots of A. So that's multiplying this matrix A by a scalar. And, and that means just to multiply each term by 3, so 3 lots of 1 is 3, 3 lots of 2 is 6, 3 zeros and 3 ones. So that's fairly easy. Now AB is a bit trickier, so we've got A which is, let's do AB, we've got A which is 1, 2, 0, 1, and we're times in that by B which is 1, 3, minus 2, 1. Okay, so we start with uh, let's use a different colour. We start with these two, which we're going to multiply these two and then add the result. So we have 1 times 1, 
which is 1, plus 0 times 3, which is 0. So we've just got 1 times 1, which is 1. And then we're going to do these two multiplied by this one again. So we do these two, this multiplied by that, and then this multiplied by that. And then this goes underneath. So 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3, so we've got 2 plus 3, which is 5. And then we move across to the next column, so we go 1, 0 times this. Well, that 1, 0 is just going to keep the top one and remove the bottom one, so we're just going to have minus 2, because 1 of the minus 2 is minus 2. And then we've got 2, 1 times by minus 2, 1, so the 2 times by the minus 2 makes minus 4, and 1 times 1 is 1, and minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. So A, B is going to be this matrix here, 1, 5, minus 2, minus 3. Um, two lots of B, A, well in general, um, matrix multiplication is not commutative, so if you do it the other way around, um, sometimes you can't even multiply matrices the different way around if they're, if they're not the same sort of size. So it's not always possible to even do it, but if you do do it, it's, it's unlikely to be the same unless one of these matrices is the identity matrix. Okay, so let's start again. So we've got 1 minus 2. So we're taking that group, that pair there, and we're multiplying this pair here. So we do 1 times 1, which is 1. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. And 1 plus minus 4 is minus 3. And then we're multiplying these two by those two, so the three comes up, multiply by the one, make three, one times two is two, three plus two is five. Then we do the same thing for the second pair, so again with the zero and the one, um, this one is just going to kind of keep the second number, the top one, one times zero is nothing, minus two times one is minus two, then we've got three times zero which is nothing, and one times one which is one. So that's going to be the matrix BA. We want 2BA, so we've got BA and we need to times it by 2, so we get minus 6, 10, minus 4, 2. And then we have to do BC, so BC is going to be equal to B, which is that one, times by C, which is that one, and when you multiply 2 by 2 by a, um, 2 by 1, you end up with a 2 by 1 as a result. So we've got these two, just like before. Top two we do first, then the bottom two we do. So we do top two, 1 lot of 3 is 3, minus 2 lots of minus 4 is plus 8, and 3 plus 8 is 11, so that's the top number. Then we've got 3 times 3 is 9, and 1 times minus 4 is minus 4, and 9 minus 4 is 5. So we end up with the matrix 11, 5. So when you're combining a 2 by 2 with a 2 by 1, to combine matrices, these two numbers must be the same. And the resultant matrix is what these two are. So it's going to be a 2 by 1 matrix. OK, and A squared is just going to be A followed by A. So we've got 1, 0, 2, 1, 1, 0, 2, 1. Um, now we don't just square the numbers in the matrix. We actually have to do the calculations. So A squared means A followed by A. So 1, 0 times onto this is going to be um, just 1, because 1 times 1 is 1, and 0, 2 is 0. And then we've got 2, 1 times by this. So we've got 2 times 1 and 1 times 2, so they're both 2, so that makes 4. And then we're going to have 0, because 1, 0, and 0, 1. And then we're going to have 2 times 0, which is 0, and 1 times 1, which is 1. So a squared is going to be equal to 1, 4, 0, 1. OK, and now we've got this question. Work out the image of the point 1 minus 2 using the transformation represented by A. So all we do there is we multiply A by the um, matrix that represents this point, which is going to be 1 minus 2. So we put this point in a vector, and then we can multiply it out. So we've got 5 lots of 1 is 5, and 3 lots of minus 2 is minus 6, and 5 minus 6 is minus 1, and 2 lots of 1 is 2, minus 1 lots of minus 2 is 2, so 2 plus 2 is 4. So the image of point 1, 2 is the point uh, minus 1, 4. So 
that's where it's going to. So you just convert the, the coordinate into a vector and then multiply by the matrix. Okay, let's have a look at the other two questions. Question three, the image of a point PXY is nine one. Using the transformation represented by this, work out X and Y. So we are doing this matrix times by X, Y, and we're told the answer is nine one. So that is the vector nine one. So this gives us a pair of simultaneous equations. We get two times X minus one times Y, which is minus Y, and that's equal to nine. That's the top number, and we've got one times x is x, and three times y plus three times y equals this number of one. So we have to solve these as a pair of simultaneous equations. Uh, the best way to do that, I would guess, is, is to double the bottom one to make uh, so we times that by two. That gives us two x plus six y equals two. And we have got 2x minus y equals 9. And then when we subtract these two equations, take them away, the 2x's disappear. We've got minus y minus 6y, which is minus 7y. And 9 minus 2 is 7. So y is 7 divided by minus 7. Now 7 divided by 7 is 1. So 7 divided by minus 7 is minus 1. So that gives us the y. And then we use that, just any other simultaneous equation, we put that back into the equation. We get x, you could put this one or that one, x uh, plus 3 lots of minus 1, which is minus 3 equals 1. So x equals 1 plus 3, which is 4. So x equals 4. So there we go, there's the answers. y is minus 1, x is 4. Okay, so using algebra in Macy's is very common. Trying to find the missing numbers, you end up with equations. Let's just do another one here. So we've got two lots of this equals that. So the equation we're going to have is two lots of minus one, which is minus two, and four lots of a plus four a is equal to this number on the top, nine plus b, or this expression on the top. And the second equation we get is zero lots of minus one, which is just zero, and one lot of a equals three b. So a equals three b. So we can replace this a with 3b. So this we're gonna we're gonna substitute this value into the a here. So that gives us minus two plus four lots of three b because that's what a is. And that's equal to nine plus b. We've got minus two plus twelve b equals nine plus b. Take the b over to this side, add the 2 to that side, we end up with 11b equals 11. That's a good sign because this gives us a nice answer of b equals 1, which tells us that a must be 3 lots of b, which is 3. Okay, so that's that's the standard sort of matrix multiplication, combining matrices, um, using them to solve equations. Uh, once you practice a little bit, it should be fairly straightforward. The routine of multiplying out matrices is the same every time.